Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Emma, this is Game Director Story, this is the demo for Game Director Story, it's not out yet, but it looks really cute, it's from my list of wholesome games, I'm very excited. This demo is an early work in progress, meant to show off the art and writing style and the main mechanic of the game. The full game will include other gameplay elements. Okay, you're about to play a portion of a single event that can take place in the early production phase of the game. Okay. Characters waiting to speak to you will show up. Characters waiting to speak with you show up on the conversation waiting list. Click a character item to start the conversation. Characters only wait so long for you to talk to them. Oh no, if their patience expires, they will decide how to address the situation on their own. Oh, stakeholders. If any fall to zero, it's game over. Oh my gosh, okay. You may fail a lot. Game development is hard. Uh oh. <laughs> Alice. Hello world. This is Tala. Oh hi Tala. Oh my god, you're adorable. Oh, oh they're like little they're like little teddy versions of animals. This is why you're the money bags manager. No originality. She says this lovingly, I'm sure. Hi Molly. Of course. Jeez, Tala, rein it in. Philippe, can you believe this? I have an office. I'm gonna put my name on the door. We make games for a living. It could be a short-lived dream, Philippe. We also have teams we're responsible for. Oh god, the stress, I'm already stressed. Oh look, 14 event days remain. Ugh. Why else would I do years of bullshit contract work if not to someday order around my posse of underlings? Philippe, I'm not sure that's the best attitude. Molly is the best. TDs are always nice. Every TD I've ever met has been really nice. Boring. Not nearly punk rock enough. Artists, am I right? We are sellouts. Ahem. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I want to tell you something. Listen, I'm proud of you, all of you. We got this far. A publisher, an office, a great concept, and a kick-ass team to pull it all together. The rest is all smooth sailing, right? I can see the 9.5s rolling in now. Best new mechanic of the year. Where'd we lose the point five? Uh Oh, this choice affects things. Um, polish? It's not like we have extensive QA. Uh oh. After our rollicking success, we'll be able to hire a, a thousand grunts. I mean, QA professionals. <laughs> Philippe, live to dream. Keep Phil away from HR. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> Hi Molly. Oh look, it says stuff about Molly. Oh no, it doesn't. Quick update from our programming meeting. I've been orienting everyone to the source code documentation. You know the spiel. Any requests on how you'd like to be involved? Um, I trust you to lead your team. Keep me appraised of what you think I need to know. The rest is all to you. I don't want to micromanage too much. I'm gonna have a lot to do anyway, you know? You know I'm still the same person you went to school with, right? Don't worry, boss. That's clear. Aw, oh, okay. Hey, Phil. I'm producing assets at a rate unprecedented by the creatures of the land and sea. I am in tune with the universe. I'll have what you're having. <laughs> that was a one-time thing, just to get through exams. <laughs> I was kidding. Oh, these like all my old school buddies. That's cute. Okay, well, good talk, Phil. Oh, how you doing, Tala? Cool office, hey? Oh, me? Well, now that you mention it, I'm doing great. Just killing it in my closet. How's the studio set up? I'm guessing it's a small studio. Most of this stuff is mine. I can't help feeling like I'm only here because I was already on the team. Because I was, you know, your friend. No way, you're here because we need you. The sooner we have sound and gameplay in with everything, the more coherent our game will be in the end. Oh look, she's happy! Everything in harmony. Oh, I like that I've just noticed Tala is she-they. That's really cool. You can be as cheesy as you want, just don't doubt why you're here. Aww. Yeah. Hi, Jerry. Hi, I'm Jerry, but you can call me IT Jerry. They all do. Just getting your network set up today. Are there that many other Jerrys? <laughs> 
you'd be surprised. Support departments at this kind of office, you do kind of get like, you know, oh, if you talk to editorial Emma, it's like, I, it happens to me. <laughs> You should be able to push updates from here and access the published intranet. I can lay the groundwork so satellite teams will be able to access your builds if you want. Uh, yeah, good idea. We don't have external help at the moment, but you never know. Thanks, Jerry. You can trust and believe in all IT Jerry. Okay, I might feel the closest kinship with IT Jerry so far. Kepri, how are you settling in? The office is great, thank you. We're establishing the new team dynamic. Ooh, this is our publisher representative. Scary. You're worth investing in. I'm glad the folks here trusted me on that. Oh, we're going to prove it. She likes that. I know you are. Can we catch up later this week? I'd like to go over some things about where we go from here. Of course. Close and pass time. That felt pretty good. That felt like a good day. That's such typical, like, managerial admin stuff it's like we spend all day talking to people and organizing things and that's all of our that's that's all of our work time over oh morning phil how's everybody's first day as an avatar of pure interactive creativity this is a job phil it's like any other job oh be a bit more pumped molly you don't really believe that do you Getting swept up in the magic is the best way to be taken advantage of. Ooh, there's a little sting of truth in that. But you, like, care about the work. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Why are we talking about me? Molly's pragmatic. I like it. I'm doing great, by the way, sitting in the studio, completely alone, trying to generate moving art for something that hasn't even taken full form and make it catchy. Man, maybe your job is harder than mine. <laughs> nah, that can't be true. It's the children who are wrong. I've worked with so many fills. <laughs> we worked really hard to get here. We worked our butts off for this. We deserve a vi victory lap. Or, you know, just a moment to appreciate that we did it. We made it. Whatever happens for the rest of our lives, we'll always be able to return to this. At least this. No more basements. You know what? We did work hard for this. Yeah, we did, Tala. Let's go! Oh! Oh! Hey, Molly. We've got to talk about Team Sink, Alice. Yeah, shoot. I love that my name is a pun and everybody else is like a normal name. You know, I was only ever in charge of a few folks at once, right? Our team isn't exactly known for their leadership experience. Philippe told me he was once an assistant manager at Duke Mouse's Funorama for three months, but still. Do you want to sign me up for a course or something? Do you want me to sign you up for a course or something? We need practice. As people as a studio, we need to make sure we're all on the same page. Something in daily stand-up, studio-wide. It's tried and true. Plus, it looks great if anyone does a feature on us someday. Um, I like the sound of that, Molly. Let's do it. They used to, they're used to showing up late and working into the evening. It'll help us keep marching together. Conquering the Indian nation. We put everything into hope that people choose to support our dream instead of somebody else's. Molly, you're taking all the fun out of conquering. <laughs> oh no, she's annoyed. Imagine that. Oh no. Boss, I've snatched an idea from the ether. It came to me fully formed in a dream. It will be the best game of all time. We should probably stay focused, Phil. We have deadlines, even just the ones we set for ourselves. Put it in a notebook, we'll come back to it later. I'm not asking anyone to change direction, just let me work on the design doc, maybe a little art, and I'll pitch it to the publisher as our next project when we've done this one. Save us pre-pro time, please, just two hours a day? Two hours a day? One hour. If I say two hours, you'll make it three. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll let you know when I have something pitchable. It's important to have something in the pipeline, so I think we should... I think we should take up Phil on this. You know how we went to school together? Who, you and Philippe and me? Yeah. And then Philippe knew Tala through some music thing. What about it? Oh, that's not a great expression. I'm not sure they ever really left. 
Yeah, some people are like that. They're doing the startup thing. Phil is shooting a Nerf gun across our office. Oh my god. My boyfriend used to do exactly that. Shoot a Nerf gun in the office at people. The startup thing isn't all bad. Oh, I clicked. I guess I clicked the wrong one. You're right, we have to do something. I'll pretend that was my. Uh... Oh, no, okay, I didn't. I didn't put do the wrong thing. I'm trying to join in. <laughs> you aren't seriously making paper aeroplanes. Heck it, hand me some paper. I'll show you real aerodynamics. It's important for us to have a bit of fun while we've got the enthusiasm, right? You don't want to become bitter and jaded immediately. I'm getting some pressure from the powers that be. <gasps> They're cutting funding? Do they want something concrete? We could probably get a demo working within a couple of months. Another studio folded and there's a trailer slot open on their E3 showcase. They're looking for a flashy indie trailer, single cut, single take, no cuts gameplay if at all possible. We barely have the main character solved, let alone a decent environment to put them in. E3 is two weeks away. Oh, Let's talk how. We might be able to provide some extra resources. Let me know what you need and I'll advocate for you. Thank you, Kepri. We're gonna need a lot of resources if we've got two weeks. Uh, it would be tough on us. Might need to cut some of the ideas that got us here in the first place, and the team will be pulling some serious overtime. We could do a teaser trailer, something snazzy, clips of environments, music, some moving characters if we can possibly swing it, something to showcase the tone of what we're doing. Getting features cap captured in gameplay would mean a lot, but I could try to sell them the teaser. What do you think you can actually finish? I think we should go for a teaser. I don't think... I don't think we want to rush the gameplay when it's just nowhere near ready, you know? I knew this was a big ask. I respect that you're standing up for your team. Well, I mean, you can only do what you can do, right? Quick question on behalf of my team. Why do the programmers have the best view when it's artists who acquire inspiration from the great outdoors? Don't use your team to get a better seat. You should have shown up earlier when we were claiming them. That's fair. I'm glad you took that well. <laughs> Man, the day just flies by. Hey guys, news from the publisher. They want us to do gameplay for E3. What? Don't worry, I pushed back and we compromised on a slick trailer. I hate those. Some music, a fancy logo, you don't learn anything about the game. Oh, but it's still, still kind of jazzy, still can get people pumped. It'll get people following the Twitter, you know, little something. The teaser's a lot easier to make. We can string together isolated clips of functional elements and concept art. We still need to ask the team to crunch, uh, but it's doable. There's a reason people announce this way, Phil. I'd do it differently if we could, but we weren't even supposed to be at E3 this year. Holy shit, E3? Yeah, if we have something to show. We'll need an atmospheric, snazzy build-up and a gut-punching finale. All the emotional weight rides on the music. Do it right or the whole trailer sucks. Got it. <laughs> I've, I've met a lot of audio people like Tyler as well. <laughs> no pressure. If you look at it, the game was always going to succeed or bail, fail based on the tiny choices we make every day. Any one of them could sink the entire venture and we might not notice until after building months of changes onto it. Thanks, Phil. All I need to do is pull a catchy, memorable, original, mel melodic idea out of thin air and mix it well enough that I'll sound great through 20-foot stage speakers. I love being an artsy freeloader. <laughs> I'm seeing W Weiss in my sleep, Alice. I'm so deep into logic that I'm starting to talk to its automatic drummer personalities. Benny's Garage Rock Band is going great, by the way, thanks for asking. I can't write the theme and sync it to the trailer if the trailer isn't done yet. <sighs> Shit. Maybe we can contract out? What if you prioritise making the audio work in our little gameplay segments and we contract out this pass at the theme? That might be best. Damn it. I'm trying so hard not to be a trash goblin. Oh, Tala, you're a great musician. This is a lot to ask one person to do under time pressure. I'll talk to Kepri and see what we can do. Hey boss, I know there's a lot of work to do, there always is. But we decided once that we wouldn't fall into infinite crunch. I'm not going to ask my team to work overtime. What if we need to? This is a real tight deadline. I respect that though. A deadline decided by suits who aren't even here. They don't know what we have to do to make this happen. I'd love to push back more, but I already had to talk them out of showcasing gameplay. <sighs> I 
This is how people burn out, Alice. I know. It it really is, but what can we do? Oh man. Yo, we need to talk about the design doc. Hey Felix. We're under real time pressure now and we can't afford to mess around. I'd love to hear your name. <laughs> oh, Felix. Awkward. Oh right, we haven't met. I'm a designer and programmer on Molly's team. Felix. Go by there then. Can we talk about the doc? We need to know exactly what we're trying to portray to the audience. Hints at mechanics, exploration, world building, and there's an audio thing I'd love to talk to you about. There's a lot that isn't spelled out here. Right, let's schedule a sit down. I was kind of hoping for right now. We really have to discuss the music mechanic before we go any further. Join me for lunch and you can let me know what you feel we've missed. Hey, I know you're scrambling to get things done right now, but I have a request. Could you send me a summary of the game that I could use in shorthand discussions? Really flash it up if you can. Your design doc's just a little unclear in places and I wouldn't want to misrepresent you. I'll do it. Oh god. I'm already stressed over the crunch! Thanks Alice, really appreciate it. Okay, great. Hey Phil, I called you here today for a matter of utmost importance. Make it snappy, I've got some work of utmost importance of my own. Jeez, Molly, no rush at all. Come on, Phil. Any time today. Aha! The culprit arises. What is this about? I've been reading through some past meeting notes and team comments, the whole shebang. I couldn't help but noticing something that is a very big deal. Which is? Come on, Phil, we're pushing for time here. G's and G's. Two different spellings, yet there can only be one. I want to resolve it here and now. What if we use it in game dialogue down the road? Consistency is key. G's comes from a watered down reference to Jesus. The J makes the most sense. The Bible isn't meant to be taken literally, besides the G is far more elegant. Like Gigi or Genus. G's has class and we can't pass that up. I don't know, G's with a J. Sorry, Phil. It really doesn't matter that much. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Phil. Alright, Molly. I'm running a Drillm Gone Day. Uh, Drillm Gone? Game during lunch today? Some sort of Dungeons and Dragons? Important to mess around at a time like this. Keeping spirits high. Um, yeah, I'll join. I'm gonna roll up a ranger, I think. What's wrong with a ranger? What's the problem, Molly? It's already causing tension in the office. <laughs> I went ahead and reserved some social media handles for us. Thanks for that. Doesn't seem like your job, but I appreciate you doing it. We'll need someone to manage them, if I may so humbly offer. Phil, have you not got enough work to do? We should hire someone. Wouldn't you rather spend more time doing art? Social media is an art. Which is why we should hire a social artist. I think when it comes to crunch time, you'll regret this, Phil. I'm shattered that you don't trust me, but I can ask around. Tyler might know someone witty. We want to be witty? Don't we want to be professional? No, we want to be witty. All of the companies are doing it these days. Okay, Boomer. Aren't <laughs> we roughly the same age? I'm young enough to know no one says okay, Boomer anymore, except people who are insecure about their age. <laughs> Thanks for the support there, boss. Sorry, Phil. If you hear people complaining about the noise levels from the studio, I just want you to know that I'm in the vibe zone and you can tell them they have to they can come and talk to me if they have to. That was my best run-on sentence ever. Don't want me to keep people away? Are you wanting feedback? Message received. Cool. Alright Molly, what's up? Need more engineers. We don't have anyone who's good at lighting. Felix says they can try, but... Let's call Capri. Oh god. About the E3, tra the E3 trailer concept meeting. We can run it without you so you can focus on other stuff, but somebody needs to be in charge and have the final say. It's me, right? It's gotta be me. 
Molly is more practical, but I honestly think as the art director, we should go, we should go with Phil. Oh shit, it's fucking 640. All right, thanks, Phil. Don't forget to take the other's input seriously. We need something show-stopping that's actually finished in two weeks. Better go home. Already started working late. That's not a good sign. I'll go ahead and ask the big one. We need to figure out a protagonist direction so I can start concepting like yesterday. Nothing we show in this trailer will be final. Do you think the ravenous public is going to respect that? Oh god, it's hard to know. I've literally played games for the cute pr protagonist. <laughs> Tala, that is a mood. Exactly. Are we going cute or cool? How are we coding them? I thought that was my department. Cultural codes. We're out here navigating the dialectical politics of race. Especially in the animal kingdom, because we've got fucking so many animals out there. A bad use of basically anything in this trailer can doom us on either side of the political spectrum. I know where I want to be, do we all? How about we break this down and start small? Girl or boy? There's more than the binary, Molly. Sorry, I tend to think in binary. Oh, that was handled very well by Molly, I think. I was like, oops. Sorry. And move on. Great. Anyone who doesn't get to see themselves on screen. I think you're right. Let's come out strong and prove we've got a bold vision. Making things ambiguous doesn't have to turn people off. Does anyone care about the protagonist's gender or race in Hollow Knight? Neutrality is usually read as the dominant default white and male. True. But that's how we got the Samus twist in Metroid. Where'd jokes go? Sorry, Phil. We, we've ended up talking about a serious topic. Don't be sorry for caring, Tala. We just need to decide how we're going to do it, yeah. I agree. I can work with my team to find a couple of strong protagonist designs. This one for the homies. And non-binary folks. As long as we're all on the same page. Get to it, everyone. Good work. I feel like we're handling this quite well so far. Oh, I don't know, I just... I love my animal team. Hey man, I know you'd rather have done a gameplay trailer, so I wanted to check in. It's weird to have my team making these pieces out of context. Yeah, I understand. My heart was to try to link the environments together. Maybe we can set up a big reveal that shows the intercorrected world? Ah, uh, don't get distracted. I'm sorry, Phil. We've got to focus on the trailer. Oh, he's not happy. I hate it when you're right. I often wish I wasn't. Sorry, Phil. Hey, Alice, how's it going? I got a quick list of guideposts from the powers that be for this trailer. All right, let's hear it. What are they expecting so soon? Jeez. I was wondering if you have any strategies for me. I'm in the middle of a brain sprint right now, but hey, shoot. Oh, Tala, don't look so nervous. It's kind of about that. Creativ creativity isn't just a tap I can turn on or off. I'm molasses, telling myself to move and nothing happens. Try taking a break. Yeah, get outside for a little bit. Oh, don't look so sad. If I took a break every time I hit a musician's block, I might as well just stay home. Oh, sometimes it'd be like that. It's worse, the worst thing in the world when you feel like that when you've got a short deadline. Especially with trailers. Trailers and reels and stuff. I hate that. Oh, uh, Phil's, Phil's being really sweet. Hi, you may know me as the person heading up the team that keeps your team alive. This place has been a disaster after hours, I hope you know. Oh, sorry, Roberta. My team is accustomed to a certain standard of living. We all used to work out of a basement. Facilities. Jeez. Can you talk to the culprit and maybe get them to stop dropping iced coffee on the floor? Um... I don't know. Phil, maybe? I don't know how people like facilities, production, anyone in charge of like managing a space or team. 
I'm so not that person. I'm so impressed every time I see people doing jobs like that because I'm so not that. Got a question about the social media stuff? Fire away, Phil. No posts yet, but no matter who's doing it, we've got to talk about tone, you know? What do you think the tone should be? Personable brands have really taken over. Sometimes they're hilarious and sometimes they're cheesy and tone deaf. Kind of depends on the sort of game we're making, I feel, right? People know there's a person behind the handle. The more individual the voice is, the better, you know? Put someone goofy behind the wheel and you let them do their thing. I trust, yeah, I trust Phil on that. I think he's right. I think he's right. Hey, we need to switch up our approach on this trailer. Sweeping shot of a gorgeous environment. Am I reading that right? Um, we can end on a small moment. Pushing on our main character with a little voiceover? That'd be better practically and narratively. Draw the audience in, you know? Got it. Do it, Felix. We can't keep having all these meetings, Alice. Check-ins, concepts, updates, roadmaps. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you can skip them. If, if you don't need to be there, don't come. What's up, Phil? I've had this idea that'll really save us some time. A system that auto-generates the UVs for a specific part of our environment so we can make them look great and sculpt them quickly for whatever else we need. A little investment now will save us a lot of time in the future. Do I have to go ahead? Do it. We'll regret it later if we don't. What's up, Molly? We need to talk about writing and narrative. Do we even have a writer? I was really hoping to save that until after E3. Oh, uh, Molly, I'm sorry. We came up with this world together. We have a story sketched out, but as much as Phil might like to pretend, none of us are actually writers. I think we could use some words in this trailer. Some glue holding everything together? A poem, maybe? I don't know if... I don't know if me or Molly is qualified to do all this. Go on, Molly. Do you want to take a crack at it? Oh, that looks like a no. That's a no face if ever I saw one. I usually just write stuff for fun. I can try. Appreciate that, Molly. Let me know if you want someone to bounce drafts off of. Alice, what's our hiring like at the moment? We're actively looking for a number of positions. Did you have someone in mind? Not exactly. I got an email from an old acquaintance with a resume attached. He's looking at an art position, and his resume was slamming. That's great. Uh oh, it's after hours. It's always me and Phil after hours. I never liked this guy. It was so long ago, I can't remember why I didn't like him. All I know is I still don't. My first instinct was to delete the email, but I'm a professional now. And I will want to be just that. Oh, that's tricky. What if there was a great reason that you didn't like him? But what if he's like... But what if he's like changed and is fine now? Pass it to Molly. Molly won't hire him unless she's confident he'll be brilliant for the job and the team. True. Okay, alright, time to go home. Oh god, nine days. Eight days. <laughs> no worries, Tyler. You gotta try sleeping at the office. No, Phil! If I didn't commute, I wouldn't have any time to play games. Or space out for a blessed 15 minutes. That's a mood. That was my reading time's commute time. Are we on track? Anything I need to be aware of? Kepri mentioned she's having a tough time managing the publisher's expectations. Oh god. We're getting bottlenecked in a couple of places. We need to work smarter or we won't finish this trailer. Oh god. We look great. We've got to do some interviews or some kind of media spot because this spunky little studio is ready for the limelight. <laughs> you know how I can tell the team's not the team's doing good? Sometimes I have to tell people to stop laughing because they're messing up my takes. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's get juggling. I think Phil's philosophy is spread to the team. And they're focused on making detailed, beautiful assets. Right now we need more, not better. Do I have your permission to tell them not everything needs to be perfect? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, Molly. I'm trying to capture stuff actually working for the trailer, but our performance is garbage right now. I need a little time to keep it up. Work with Philippe. 
If you're capturing in one of the early finished environments, it's probably an art problem. Talk to Philippe about it. It'll slow both of us down, but you're probably right. Well, I mean, we got we can't have something that looks like shit. I've got a tasty one for you today. Hope you're well too. Quite scary talking to the publisher rep. Thanks. <laughs> I just found out about a government grant that your studio would be eligible for, and it's due at the end of the week. I need your help putting the documentation together, but it could really help take the pressure off financially. We might even be able to hire another team member or two. Oh fuck, if it means bringing on extra help, I'm in. Can just I stay really late? Can I work myself to the bone to protect the team? Oh god. We need to talk about who's putting this trailer together. This is an area where I'll admit I have no relevant experience. Um, we should bring in a contractor. We should, we should hire an editor. We should definitely hire an editor. Don't worry, they're used to... Oh god. Half of my team's called in sick today, Alice. I was really not planning for the Black Death to hit while we're under the goddamn Sword of Damocles. Um... We'll make it. We can't make them work if they're sick. We have to let them rest. Molly was the one who was super against overtime. Oh god. My dog Commander will be in the office today. She has a vet appointment after work. She's potty trained, right? Of course. Everyone is entitled to exactly three such a good girls. Ah. Do not ask her questions under any circumstances. She will attempt to respond. <laughs> That's very cute. I hope everyone in the office is okay with dogs. So wait, dogs are dogs in this world? Hmm. She's the German Shepherd under your desk? Ah, <gasps> German Shepherd! Commander the Shepherd! I love Felix. I was hoping to borrow her for the day to study her motion. If we ever want a dog in our game, this could be the perfect time to prepare. It would be better for Phil's team in animation. Why don't we just do that? I mean, Felix is still gonna have the dog when we get round to that. I don't know about this. Let Felix bring the dog in later if we think it's a good idea. Give me the dog. <laughs> oh, That's really sweet of you, Felix. There you go, everybody wins. Phew. Okay, I'm glad we got that sorted. Oh my god, it's already 5pm? This is a really long meeting. Jesus, guys, look how much stuff there is. Notice you saw my screen during lunch. Oh, cool. Um... Ooh. I feel like probably... It depends if she wants to or not, but it feels like since she's sort of the only one working on the music... Another lackey to boss around, I think he'll be fine. I mean, we need all hands on deck, so... Some things aren't worth selling your soul for. Some are. Okay. That's why we're here. Oh my god, it's 6.20. Do you have a talk about- Oh no, something a little sensitive. Oh god, something going on with the publisher? I'll keep it vague for your sake. You've got more variety than you see in most developers. And... I've heard some unfortunate rumours about my higher-ups. There might come a time when lines are drawn. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, she's not happy with that. I just hope I get to keep working with you. What? <laughs> oh. The light of the sun, it burns us. It's good to get some sunlight sometimes, Tala. We're independent, my old friend. 
I'm an inspiring leader of people, of course. Yeah, of course. Basically, we're garbage goblins, but we do know how to keep our garbage goblin lives organised. Man, that's a mood. Let us be goblins. Well, I'm more of a trash tree ant, like a boggy boy. We can move the time. Oh my god, it's 7.30. Maybe we can set up meetings later in the day? After lunch? Sure. Okay. Great, time to go home. That was the first one we haven't been able to do all of the stuff.